What's up YouTube? It's been like five months since I posted a video. The last one on there was uh, the stage four build. And um, I'm proud to say that it's basically done. Um, as a base tune, I haven't really driven it. Maybe 300 feet, that's about it. But I have a whole bunch of other goodies I'm about to show you. First off, I won't start with the engine. I'll just start off with um, the headlights. Just basically everything. I'm gonna go over everything again. So these headlights were done by Rogue Lighting, local to PDX. Um, I got the amber delete and then blacked out the housing. Got projectors, some halo switchbacks with this uh, strip, so a sequential strip. So this will light up when I turn my turn signals. And then I have an R logo etched on the uh, projector. Um, this is a 07 STI CS2 lip. Um, I'm getting one made for the car, but um, that's aside from the point. And then up here I have the uh, KLM Fab. It's actually, they call it a universal intercooler. I think it's actually for an Evo. Um, I put that in there, it's actually, four and a half inch intercooler. And then I chose some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Um, I painted these a while ago and put a Brembo sticker there, are Brembo's. And then these wheels are Work VS TX's. Um, they're a limited edition wheel. So each wheel has a number on them. There's only 3,000 of them that I know of, of these specific wheels. Um, the front is 19 by eight and a half, and then the rear is 19 by 10. And as you can see, they do fit. Um, and then I have the sport kit, of course. Let's see. And then I have blacked out sequential uh, turn signals, or smoke, I should say. And then I have a carbon fiber roof spoiler from Viva Performance. And then each sticker, of course, adds horsepower. Of course, a license plate frame. And then I got this diffuser as well. Um, I got this from Viva Performance. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I could be wrong. And then back here, my old exhaust tips were only, um, I think it was two and a quarter, and these are three and a half inch dual tips, single wall. And then on the inside, it's dirty. I haven't cleaned it in like seven months, but I have three gauges from Innovate and then a triple mount. And then I still have my IPD gauge right here. And then I got, this is actually also from an Evo. I retrofitted this short shifter from Cooler Works in here. 
Um, I just need to trim up the bezel a little bit and make it look cleaner. And then I have five point harnesses from Braum Racing. And then um, I don't have a mount for the point yet because I'm actually gonna swap out these seats. And then I have a uh, 49 inch harness bar. Um, this is mounted back here temporarily until I can get some plates or a half cage welded. And then there's some spacers in here, extended screws. It holds really well. I can move the car with it. And then I can also hold myself with it. And then back here, it's not a fancy setup yet, but I just needed to make sure it was functional because I just got it out of the garage the other day. But everything works. I have the Airlift Performance 3P. I took this water trap fitting out because this fitting was leaking. So I'm getting a different fitting for that. And then um, I have a bottom port to drain water as well. But I will make this fancy. Um, not sure yet if I'm gonna go mount it from the top or do a wood floor and mount it down here. Um, this was just temporary mounting it, making sure it worked. And then the bags I have are AirTech. Um, they had an issue with the rear bags not working out, so they had to remake them. In turn, it took like four months to get them, um, but now to the engine. So got these cute little red bolts. Um, you may think I'm weird, but I just got them. And then I went with a whole new theme. I took out the Swedish flag and I went with black, red, and gold. Um, this is getting swapped out for a black one once I get it. But right here I have the Swede Source um, air filter. It's really, it's one of their shorter ones. Um, that way it could fit in here. And then I have the RS4 upgraded MAF. And then I extended this out because the custom intake I have, the custom three and a half inch, um, extends about eight inches forward. And I didn't want to have to unsplice this, so I just spliced in new um, wires. And then right here, you might be wondering what this is. It's a boost reference nipple because my turbo does not have one. So I use that. This is a 50 millimeter um, tile blow off valve recirculating back into the intake pipe. Of course, my catch can, I need to mount this better. Um, I might actually get a different one. And then custom OTE piping. And then I did custom intercooler piping as well. Um, you can probably see the intercooler a little bit through here four and a half it's 31 inch completely from end to end and then four and a half inches wide and then about 12 inches tall i had to trim the bumper there's like a little little lip right here that i had to trim off to be able to actually put the bumper on and then i painted this i do want to get an upgraded one but um, i also painted that it's nothing fancy it's not like aftermarket or anything it's just painted IPD billet cap and then I have a 38 millimeter wastegate with a hood dump you can either hate me or love me for it and then a tubular manifold with a Borg Warner and then a custom v-band downpipe um, catless no res no muffler three inches all the way back v-band connectors it's pretty nice um, sounds really dope from the time that I've been able to hear it. And then this is a custom fuel rail. So, well, it's the stock fuel rail, but, um, fuel pressure sensor on one end and then a eight AN fitting that goes back to a radium fuel pressure regulator. And then I'm running a fuel return system. So that means that from my pump, I have a, actually a different pump. I believe it's an 0809 pump uh, assembly and then I put a Walboro 450 in it and then I'm routing a 6AN line from the pump to the regulator and then the regulator will pump fuel and this is a high pressure in or out so it'll pump fuel in here and any unused fuel goes back through a low pressure which I have a 6AN back into the push connect fitting to um, be basically a low pressure back into the of the fuel tank. I'm 
I'm gonna probably run pump for a while and then swap to E85. I'm not necessarily really caring about what I make on pump, but I do wanna make a decent amount on um, E85, probably around 500-ish. Um, not exactly sure yet, but this is just a quick video to kind of show you the car again after a really, really long time. But I will be trying to make more videos um, once the car is tuned and everything's done. Um, the air ride works super good. I can't give a review on how it rides because I drove it again like 300 feet. But I will put a sound clip of me driving it to the stop sign and back.